the power. This mag. What's up, family? It's Too Cool TB representing Powered by Vibes. And for those of you who are new, for those of you who forgot, this is a project started this year to bring some light to the local music scene as well as the DIY music scene for people who are making their music, putting it online and grinding it out at the local venues. And this is just to bring some light to those people and to bring some more appreciation to their music. So many talented artists that are in that scene who are making great music that goes unheard and underappreciated. So today, in this episode of Artist Discovery, we're gonna check out this artist, Jay Renee, in the track, Last Night. So, briefly, we checked out the bio. Jay Renee is an R&B kind of neo-soul artist and she's from Indianapolis. Shout out to Indy, big racing city. I'm a racing fan, so you already know I like Indy. And she actually has been doing this for a while and has some, some pretty cool credentials, you know, for singing. So I'm expecting big things from this track. This song right here last night was put it on. And uh, afterward, I'll tell you guys when I'm thinking about it. So it's, let's see what we what we think. Creative Eye Media, shout out to Creative Eye Media. The beat came on hard. The mix is a little bit off though, but I like the beat. Good vocal performance. I like that. Oh my gosh, the way she's dressing, like this is such like a, a neo soul look. That's awesome. The hat, the colors, I love it. <coughs> so with the beat, I'm trying to listen and talk, it's hard to do that. I'm trying to mix, make sure I don't miss anything. So with the beat here, it's a pretty simple thing here. Like you have like some little like kind of um, machine drums going on. You got kind of like a kick sound that comes in. There's like a little bit of a bait, like an 808 modulated bass line that comes in there. The whole thing like, I think that's like an altered kind of like guitar sound. That's like the actual main motor of the beat. Like a clean guitar sound has been altered a little bit. Oh shoot, there's dancers? I didn't know there was going to be dancers. That's fire. Song is fly. I like it though. Pretty simple production, but that's all that you need. It's, it's light and airy. That's what I like about it. It's a very light and airy type of a production, it sounds. She's got some nice um, harmonies going. When it comes to the production though, I'm not sold on the, the vocal production here. That's the only thing, like some of the harmonies, I feel like she could have did something a little different. So we're gonna talk about that, we're gonna break it down. So back to my face. So let's break it down a little bit. I like the instrumental here, it's kind of a bop, you know what I mean? Like the instrumental was nice. You know, it's, it's just a simple instrumental, like I was saying, like, to me that sounds like it's just like a clean guitar kind of a sample that's repeating and going out through it. I heard like a little bit of like a light piano sound that was kind of real low in the mix. So that kind of stood out to me in the production. Then the beat, it was just real simple. There wasn't a lot of different components to it or different like sections that it was. 
you know, as far as the form of this beat, pretty simple. And it just was, um, you know, the little machine drums and they came in with the kick and then we had, it's actually, I thought it was the 808, but it's actually more of like a synth bass line that comes in. And that's really all it is to the beat. The vocal performance, I think she's a good singer. That's a pretty good singing. And like, you can tell the vocal performance is there. Um, let's just move on to the critique section. Cause I'm going to talk about that. <clears throat> My critiques is actually with the production, specifically in the vocal department here. This is a pretty good singer, but I felt like the way that this was recorded and mixed, I get that this was going for kind of a light and airy kind of a sound and, and vibe to it. However, the problem with that, to me, it sounded like it was a little bit thin. Okay. It just was a little bit thin sounding to me. I feel like it was kind of the vocal mix, it need a little bit more bottom. And I think that I actually kind of heard it. Plus there's a few vocal production decisions. That, excuse me. There's a few vocal production decisions that I heard here that I don't know if I'm sold on. Like some of the spots where things were doubled. I don't know if I agree with doubling in some of those spots. Like during the hook, doubling it. That's a pretty standard thing to do, but I'm not sold on the way that it was done. Maybe if the mix was done a little bit differently, I would have preferred how it sounded doubled. Some of the harmonies also, I wasn't sold on in the way that they were mixed. Because they, the way that it was put together, it, it didn't sound like it locked in. So that's kind of something that's on the production side more than it is on the performer, believe it or not. That's, that's actually an arrangement thing, too. So it's it's kind of up to the person who recorded, mixed, and produced this song, or if this was all one and the same, to kind of have listened to that and said, either, you know what, I want you to do another take on that harmony because it's not fitting in with the song. And then also going back to the mix, maybe start over from scratch with the mix on the vocals because it just, it sounded a little thin to me. So that's my critiques. It's, it's mostly with the actual production of the song. I like the beat. I thought the beat was a manger. I would have liked it if maybe there was just a little bit more to it. And if it was just a little bit louder. But I like the beat. The beat was pretty good. For the vocal performance, I thought that this does all the things I usually moan about with vocal performance pretty well. Like it definitely was very rhythmically intact. Everything was placed in form right where it need to be the melodies were there the melodies came through very strong and very powerful and um yeah i thought that this sounded great so i really do like this song again a big shout out to j renee music make sure you guys go and check this stuff out i definitely want to hear some more music and we'll see powered by vibes we might have to hold, go ahead and uh reach out to j renee and uh um, See if we can do something together with her. Maybe get an interview or something like that. If you come and check in, please check in in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do with you. I'm enjoying this. And I'm definitely going to have to uh, keep an eye on you. Our channel is going to subscribe to you and see what you do next. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the best part of the video. We're going to go to the Billboard chart. Like this one right here belongs at number 25. So, this is not based upon the quality of the music. This is a reflection of how I would recommend this music to other people. This is a list that will be published in the end of the year that is based upon the popularity and how much that I think other regular people would like this. So, with that being said, my rationale for why I place it here. Let's first start with who is above and who is below. It's right below Suburban Ghosts, Hanging Bandits. This is a very recent uh, track that was added. That is a folk rock band that is from the UK. And that is a song that they made. That is an over rock influence song, kind of a folk influence song. And it's right above Melodica, Tangled Hearts. It's a electro pop singer 
that I believe is from uh, Canada. And that's her uh, kind of pop song that she did. So, let's start with why I placed it above Tango Hearts by Melodica. I felt like this song, it was just... It had a little bit more of a groove to it than that song did. Um, Tango Hearts is a really fun song, but it's kind of... Um, it's more electronic in the influence. This one here, definitely you could hear the R&B influence. You could definitely hear the Neo Soul influence. I liked it. And I liked it a little bit better than I liked that one. I feel like what went better with this one, I feel like the singing and whatnot, it just, um, it filled the space a little bit better. And I think that it's uh, just a little bit more accessible for people that will listen to this. It's a little bit more... I, I don't like the word normal, but it sounds a little more normal. <laughs> it's right below Hanging Bandits by Suburban Ghost. Because I feel like that song there, it just stood out to me a little bit more. That song was mixed a little bit better and it was a little bit more unique in my opinion. So it stands out a little bit more. It's kind of tough with the like, R&B and hip hop kind of stuff to stand out. Just because there's a lot of people doing that sound. Certainly not as many people these days doing like the R&B Neo Soul sound as there is that are doing hip hop. But it's just hard to stand out because those are two styles of music that anything that you try to do has probably been done before. So it's, it's hard to stand out without getting crazy and it's hard to get crazy and still sound good. So yeah, shout out to J. Renee Music. I feel like this sounds great and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what else that you do. And, uh, yeah, you're making some good music, and we'd love to reach out to you and maybe uh, hear back from you on some of the inspiration behind this song. So let's bring that to my beautiful face, so let's wrap this thing up. So you guys, make sure you go check out J. Renee Music. Link down in the description. Shout out to Indianapolis. Love y'all. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and close out the video. I don't have anything else to say that won't be rambling. So to J. Renee Music, to all of you watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed, love this, I enjoyed listening to this song. I hope all of you did too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you. And I will see you in the next review. The power is back.